Welcome, Libra, to your Astro Dice reading for November. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see. We're testing one, two uh, for the new camera. Um, not sure if he's going to let me keep it or actually have to put it away for Christmas. But he said I get to test it out, right? Okay, so let's see. My husband, of course. Let's see what's going on here, my friends. It has some uh, focusing issues for sure, guys, but the other one is having a little more issues than just focusing, okay? <clears throat> but this one is much cleaner, so we'll, we'll see. But let's get in here and see what's going on for you starting this month out with that beautiful new moon. Uh, you couldn't start a month out better. I'll tell you why, because of the, re the restart. The let go and let's let it all go and have a great reset um, for the end of the year so that we can start things afresh, start things on a new foot, let things go, bring in transformations. So very beautiful, very beautiful. Um, for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Okay, let's get in here, my beautiful Libras. You know what, it's crazy, I got the inference sitting at the bottom of the deck. I mean, look at that, you're ready to rock already. <laughs> I only shuffled them once before I did the video just to get your energy in. And there it is. And you sitting at the end of the deck. Wow. In abundance. So we already know how this is going to play out. Got that Pluto energy coming out. Transformation. Look at that. Some Taurian energy. There's that Venus coming in. Wow. Into the third house. Okay, guys. So let's get in here, guys. We have Pluto coming out, your ability to transform, take a big leap forward, and rebirth. Great way to start the month with Taurus energy. Yeah, it's going to be a little slow, guys. But you know what? It's good because that's Venus energy, so it's it'll be fine. I know you guys work much faster than Taurus does. Um, because you have air in you, so you're more ambitious, you're ready to rock and roll. But this is going to slow you down. That's good, though. The earth, the energy around you shows the abundance of nature. It's rich, earthly, and productive, yet relaxed and slow. I feel like in the third house, you could use that, though. Right? Because I feel like in certain houses, you've been busting your buns. Really, you know, last month, you were kind of running around in circles during the mid-month. So I would say that uh, this is going to be a good thing. It's <clears throat> your potential to learn something in your local neighborhood. So just the potentials of learning things around you, whatever it is you're learning. We will dig deep over here and try to figure out what it is. Not too dig, not too deep though, right? It's just a horoscope. Um, going straight to the beginning of the month, middle of the month, and the end of the month. Show us what is going on for our beautiful Libras. One of my ultimate favorite people. I don't know why. Get along with Libras so well. I just adore you guys. Let's see what's going on over here. That emperor is coming out again. Come on. You can't make that up. She fell right out with what? Sudden awareness. There it is. There's going to be a lot of feminine energy around you, my friends. Okay, you're really going to feel like where you're going to want to accomplish things and really transform yourself is really going to be on that nurturing area. That's where the feminine er energy is coming through, is that nurturing energy. Well, you you know, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, right? Because if you're a dad, you're going to feel a little more nurturing towards certain situations, right? Because it's about good parenting, right? Development. Feeling the overall abundance, really transforming yourself, really wanting to take that withdrawal for it, that sudden awareness. So you are, you're going to use that Taurus energy as the withdrawal. What did I say? Because you're not going to be moving as fast as you were in October. October, you were on a roll. You were just, you know, it's your birthday season and you're just like, I'm, I'm running all over the place. <clears throat> And now you're just kind of checking in for the realignment. And the beginning of the month, you are going to. I really do feel that because that new moon is going to make you, with these high emotions, is going to make you want to take a step back. Really get into your head. 
really think about things that are going on. And it's a great time to, to retreat, to let go of things that no longer serve you. Allow that new moon energy to let go so that you can trans, excuse me, transform um, for the new. Like I said, it's, it's the month is starting off as a reset, hitting the reset button. Okay, let's do something else, right? Whatever wasn't going my way, I want it balanced. You're a Libra. You want things balanced. If you do feel that things were a little imbalanced or things are starting to take place that are getting out of balance, you're going to really want to take that step back to rework your approach, you know, on generate, you know, generating that wealth, that love, that happiness, really nurturing what it is you truly want through this Venus energy during this Scorpion time. Wow. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> already but it is it's uh it's great though it's it is it's it's you kind of being a little more secretive about maybe your emotions but allowing your intuition to really come through and really paying attention to your dreams your you know your emotions with the moon it's going to bring out a lot of like i already said high emotions remember though what i said and i do like that though that you are going to take a step back and it could even be stepping back a little bit from um, overall communications. Because when in, in, emotions are high, intelligence is low. Um, so not wanting to put out too much towards other people. You know, you don't want to ignite uh, sparks with other people, right? You want to ignite the sparks with people the right way, right? Not uh, the wrong way. So... Uh, but I do believe that with the moon over here, though, you are also kind of allowing your curiosity to lead the way. As you're setting awareness is really coming up. But I do feel like you're more a little more chilled. Kind of chilled, laid back, you know. Enjoying the day, yeah, slow down right there. Enjoying this inference, this, this possibility is the slow down. You might even feel like a little bit of your investments and a little bit of your um, wealth is kind of slowing down as well as you're kind of keeping everything together. But it's kind of like, well, that's okay, though. That's okay, though, because you have the sun. Allowing that happiness to shine through. Not allowing any disadvantages to come your way. I'm telling you, you're taking on this reset to a whole nother level. You're just like Scorpio. If you guys are Libra Scorpio watching, cusp watching, definitely watch both videos because it's kind of almost intertwining with each other. You can kind of see where you're both a little bit doing the same thing. Uh, the only difference is you're taking it, Libra, a little slower and Scorpio is taking it a little quicker, right? But they're in their, they're in their sign, they're in their element. Uh, so they're, you know, doing it a little faster uh, with the chariot, obviously. So they're doing it really fast. <laughs> uh, but when it comes to the overall purpose, though, is what I'm talking about. The way you're cherishing the moment, right? That's why I'm saying if you're Libra Scorpio, because please watch the other reading as well. Until I get to your sign. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I just I just feel like um, there is definitely this mystery that's going around. But you know, Scorpion season is very mis you know mysterious, anyways, um, and it's a magical mis mystery time. So I do feel like you're going to find the mystery within this situation as you are, um, and you're in the third house. Shit! Wow. And it's the potential to learn something that feels like it's a mystery to you. Wow. Okay. So not sure right now in the beginning of the month of what it is. I, it's kind of funny because I kind of feel like you're, you know something's there, but you're not sure exactly what it is. But your curiosity is high. Yeah. It could be about travel. It could be, you know, however it is, though, it's it's... It could even be about this person who's a little headstrong. Hmm. Or it could be keeping you headstrong. 
right? A little stubborn to keep wanting to go. Well, that would be that, that Venus energy anyways. Venus energy keeps us stubborn. <clears throat> Taurus here. Uh, yeah, I know all about being stubborn. Okay, so... Yeah, stubborn enough to keep wanting to figure out what the damn mystery is. What is it that's driving me crazy? You guys know what it is that you're trying to figure this out, right? But this one's going to be slow and steady wins the race. Boom. In the mid-month, what do we got? Wow, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Here you are traveling and exploring, trying to figure out this situation. This is what you really want to learn about when it comes to, it could be money, could be this job, what the heck are they doing? It could be a person, um, it, you know, however it is. Uh, but it's some, uh, but like I said here, there could be a slowdown at work, but you're just keeping yourself kind of in this inference mode where it's just like, but I'm going to just feel as prosperous as I can so I can try to figure this out and keep myself as lighthearted as possible. But I, there is this slowdown. Um, but I love the way you guys are trying to balance that situation for not allowing the negative to completely take over the situation. Because you do feel like there is some kind of fleeting success, fleeting communication from this other person could be dealing with an Aries who you feel maybe that's your mystery right here as a Cancer or in, in Aries who you just can't figure out this person. What are their intentions? So the fleeting success could be the relationship itself, trying to figure out what are they doing, but trying to keep yourself as happy as possible. So all of a sudden you have this Ace of Pentacles this is going to open open up for you. The action of what you need is finally going to come to you. You're finally going to figure out the answer as much as possible of why this is happening. The more your curiosity is digging um, into this area of what you're trying to understand, this message and this information is going to come to you. It's going to be exciting. It is not in reverse. It is excitement. It is freedom. It is your exploration. It is your answer that you were looking for in the third house. Here it is. Boom. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So it's not going to take you long. <clears throat> Why? Because you were slow and steady to win the race, which means I was thinking I withdrew from the situation and I didn't get myself all worked up about the situation by going too fast. I just waited. The future. Renewal. Six of Cups. What you're looking for. Be dealing with a Leo. Oh wow, I got Leo and Sagittarius over here as well. It could be the understanding of what's going on and leaving behind the situation of this person. So I do believe that this curiosity and understanding of what you're learning is about this person. Um, definitely could be a Leo. I have Leo twice. Um, so you're trying to figure out what is the motive, what is their motivation for what they're doing? What is it that I want? Or is this motivated enough for me to want to take on this career opportunity, this, this offer that's coming to me? Do I want this? Is it good enough for me? Will it help me out in my successes? Will it help me out in my love situation? Do they really love me? Take it how it resonates. You know what it is, what you're trying to learn. No one can truly tell you what it is you're tr trying to learn, right? Right? In a general reading. <laughs> right? In a general reading. Like, I would be here for hours trying to figure out what everybody is trying to learn. But I will tell you one thing. It's about the opportunities of where is this stability coming from. And finally, you're going to understand. This person is going to come to you to tell you exactly what it is you are seriously looking at. Finally. Or giving you a better understanding. That's for sure. Right? If it's not 100, it's going to be a better understanding of what it is. Something that's going to make you feel, you know, like I finalized this. My curiosity. Queen of clubs is the queen of fire. Queen of wands. She's very curious. Your curiosity is finally going to be met. Finally going to have that understanding from the situation. Why this relationship is backfiring why we're having this situation whether whatever this commitment is why is this commitment upside down why is it holding me back now you're finding out the answer over here as they're over here holding back not wanting to take the risk they're hesitant they're indecisive no not you absolutely not you them and i'm dealing and i'm telling you right now a lot of you are dealing with either a taurus cancer Leo, Sagittarius, 
we're in Aries. So all the fire signs. Okay, it, it could be anybody, but I'm just telling you that's what's heavy on the board. Okay, but what it is, is it's not you. It's not you holding back this situation. It was you who said, I'm taking it slow and steady so I can hear, understand, use my intuition, think about the situation before just moving so fast that I'm going to miss it all. Using that intuition. They're saying at the end of the month, there's something going on. You understand what's going on. And now they're saying, whoa, I'm fence sitting. I'm not going to move right now. They don't want to take the blind faith. They don't want this commitment. They don't, you know, the commitment is on the table and is sitting there doing nothing. So if you're waiting for someone to sign some kind of paperwork, they're doing nothing. They're sitting on it. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. <laughs> Although it's kind of crazy. I mean, the Scorpio reading said they're going so fast. I don't really see them sitting on it. So I really don't think for a lot of you, it's a Scorpio. Um, the scorpion behavior, but I don't really, I really think that it's the signs that I gave you for the majority. I even have Sag Cap coming up on the, on the board. Um, but it's definitely about you trying to keep the conflict with others down. You don't want the breakdown of communication right now as they're, as they're kind of sitting on this not moving. You have the greater understanding. You're actually learned what it is you need to learn, but now you have to figure out how it's going to be. They're causing some kind of upsetness, but you're in this this overall energy of you is the inference mode. So you're, no matter what, I feel like you're going to continue to try to nurture the situation as much as you can by keeping yourself as calm as possible. Taurian energy. I'm just going to kind of, there it is again. I'm going to stay calm and relaxed. That's the bottom of the deck. Calm and relaxed, even though they're taking their sweet ass time. Don't tell me they're not taking their sweet ass time because you're waiting for this transformation. You're waiting for this all to come together for you. But throughout this area within the third house, whatever area this could be, you know, whatever you're learning, whether it's a relate, you know, the fifth house relationships, seventh house relationships, you know, love, what you love, hobby, the career, whatever it is that's, you know, going with this area, everybody's going to be a little different. But I'm telling you right now, you're waiting for this reset. And it's saying it's not going to 100% reset into the end because they're taking their sweet ass time. But I love it though, like I said, because you, it's pretty much like you're saying, but I know where my rewards are because what everything is balanced. Everything is justified. Everything is coming together. I just have to wait because I know they're so dang slow. They're slower than you. But that's only because they're not really slow, though, guys. They're really holding back. They're hesitant. There's a difference. They're like Taurus in reverse, right? Stuck, hesitant, sitting on their hands. Not moving. So you can say no matter what, the energy of Taurus is all the way down this, this whole, it really is taking over this whole house. I mean, seriously. Yeah, it's just about loss. It's, it's the saying, I'm not bringing, they're not bringing the Ten of Cups together yet. That's all it is. It doesn't have to be so devastating. It just means I'm not allowing the commitment to put itself together yet. It's in a hesitation mode. I'm not going to get my overall wealth, my overall happiness at this time. And it doesn't mean it's so devastating. It just means it's on hold. I'm sorry, you're on hold. Oh my gosh. Do you get some elevator music with that? I mean, what in the world, right? Better throw some elevator music on because you can be on hold for a while, right? Yes, it could be this friendship. It's whatever is causing this is causing a divergence. It's causing this to kind of just fall away, but it's just because they're on hold and they're keeping you on hold. This is crazy. So it's the will of fortune in reverse, but like I said, I wouldn't take it as a so-called overall negative it's just saying i'm not getting the fortune that i want at this time things are in a stale this is 100 stalemate until finally right finally they want to come out and they want to offer so as you're having this personal celebration when they finally come out and say well hello 
Here we go. Okay. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Thanks. Finally. This person finally wants to open up to you. They want to offer this pinnacle to you. Whether this is, you know, your boss, or this is your love. They finally figured out what they want. They figured out how to move to you finally. Finally, here they come in. Oh, my goodness. It took you forever. Yeah, trip. It took you long enough. The trip just means I'm coming towards you now. I'm moving to you. Eight of Wands. And they're coming in super fast and furious. Right? They're saying, I have this message for you now. Here I come. You're like, woohoo, finally. Jeez. Took you forever. And then finally, you get the Ace of Pentacles. Well, there's your Ace of Pentacles. Now you have the Ace of Pentacles twice. Because the Ace of Pentacles said, now you understand what's going on within the situation. Now it says, now I've got this, now I've got this stable, steady, hey, you wanted it? I'm giving it to you. I'm, I've got it. Here it is. Oh, jeez. Come on. Now you have the Nine of Cups. Okay, well, that's good, though, because the Ten of Cups is not available because it's what we already used it. So we'll go with the Nine of Cups. Do I really believe, though, that the Nine of Cups, yes, it's your victory, your love, your career. It's what exactly you wanted. But I do believe, because we do not have another Ten of Cups, because it's already used. Now, we couldn't get it out of the other deck. But I'm going to tell you, not only is it for your satisfaction, but I do believe that if we wouldn't have used the Ten of Cups or we had another deck, we had double decks, this is literally saying, this is your Ten of Cups upright. Okay? So in seriousness, not only is it your Nine of Cups, but you can add an extra cup and make it your Ten of Cups. Why? Because like I said, it's really looking for your Ten of Cups. <clears throat> okay? So not, it's both. It's two in one. So, yes, you have the Page of Pentacles, and here he comes in, and everything is justified, just like I said, having the Justice card coming out, okay, which is going to open all these doors for new opportunities, my friends, okay? And then finally, you can really feel like you're moving where you need to be moving, because you're going to have all this information starts just popping in, you're going to have all the communication, open communication, learning what it is that you truly want to learn, even though you felt like you learned a lot in the mid-month, everything is now going to set its tone to be exactly where it needs to be. Okay, that way you can really build what it is you're really building. Okay. So let's get an overall. Wow. So don't worry about that message, the message that you're needing, the understanding that, you're, that you need, whatever it is you need to learn about is definitely coming in. I feel you're getting a lot of pieces and parts of it during the mid-month, but I think at the end of the month is when it's really going to really pop open the way you really want it to be done. So animal that you need to be for the animal spirit messages, please, is the horse. Care for others and let them be free. And another one, please, the dove. Spread messages of peace and harmony. Getting some beautiful cards out, guys. Okay. And Kingfisher. Okay. Be patient and focused. Beautiful temperance card coming out right there. So there you guys go. I gave you three. I felt like it was necessary. Most signs are only getting one, but I felt like you guys needed three. Because I feel like, you know what, it really is going to be about really being patient really caring because of the inference and of course just allowing yourself to feel that peace while you're in this this area because you're really going to need the peace really feeling that peace okay during this transformation this is going to be a very big transformation um in the end it's something that's going to give you your overall rewards i mean wow guys and we know it that it's transformation because this is here before the nine of pentacles so wow very beautiful. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.